do I saw a video on TikTok and uh, <laughs> It's a very nice video. I loved it and I actually even reposted it on my TikTok page. And I just want to give a reaction to that video. So, so, so let's listen to it and kindly if you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe. Uh, also like this video and also leave your comment there. I would really also want to know what you think about this video I'm going to watch. So it's from one of the Nigerian pastor, the latest, uh, uh, the latest um, pastor that now we are getting to know. His name is Femi Lazarus and he's very wise and very full of depth. Uh, of the word of God and uh, uh, it's been fun and a lot of lesson listening to him uh, so I want us to listen to this video and then I'll come back and share my thoughts sawa sawa. so let's listen to it sawa sawa. let's go if the loudest amen is what makes billionaires Elon Musk will be in church amen is powerful but it does not make billionaires you are either selling something if you want money or number two you are providing a service or number three get a job you can't do any of these three things then create something something that is of value does god honor tithes but tithes does not make millionaires as a matter of fact your negligence of this principle will make your tithe shrink every time every principle that has to do with giving is not transactional it is a love affair we give because we love god not because god is a money doubler not like i sat down in church god said give your two thousand other is left so i gave that two thousand i'm expecting tomorrow it should be twenty thousand not lie if somebody gives you is by chance i can sit down with you and calculate the probability does he honor giving does he reward giving yes he does but he will reward it through the works of your hands you want the blessing do something for god to us bless the moment we begin to fix service as a church on Monday morning, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. We have already disqualified ourselves and our people from certain works in life. Apologies, but I must tell you. How do you put service time at the season who should be working and you are still praying they should be blessed? I, I mean, and you wonder the reason why poverty is everywhere. Why won't it be everywhere? We are trying to open the right door with the wrong key. You must understand the principles that opens the door. There are principles. The principles that make room for advancement when it comes to finance is exchange of value. For value. It is not exchange of value for pity. Man, 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 man. I feel like replaying this video again. <laughs> fair me, fair me. God bless you, man of God. Have you heard that? I always see posts on Facebook, sana sana, where guys, uh, someone will post um, a photo of a big car, then they will say, type a man, and uh, you will be driving this car this year, <laughs> my friend type a man and you start driving a car from where my friend the only way you will drive a car my friend let me tell you let me enlighten you is first of all if you have savings and even if it's a second hand i think the one of the cheapest second hand car i've seen it's a hundred and fifty k and it was at a salon those old old uh toyota's toyota i don't know whether it's a nissan or a toyota salon car those old cars if you have saved such an amount secondly higher purchase you go to a dealer get a car on higher purchase that bank financing my friend for then i've seen it happen if someone gifts you a car and people don't just gift anyone a car you have to have done something significant and of impact in their life and then they realized you need a car and they had an extra one then they decided they are going to give you a car. Otherwise, if you are just a random st stranger, no one will give you a car, my friend. So you are a man will not work. And that's a fact. So Femi is saying now that uh, in churches now, uh, pastors where they say, this year you are going to drive a car. What do I say? My amen. They say, no, I didn't hear that amen. The person with the loudest amen will, the one, will be the one who will drive that car. And a lie. That's a lie. You won't, even if you shout and you lost your voice, you won't drive a car. You won't. And the person with the loudest uh, amen will be a millionaire this year, my friend. It's a lie. Your amen won't make it happen. And uh, you must work if you have a job. You must save. Okay? You must budget. Plan your money well. And that way you will achieve. If it's money, you want to be a business person, you must invest reinvest your money you understand but if you are reckless in how you spend your money no matter how many prayer sessions you go nothing will change in your life 
you understand and he also talks about something else that as long as we continue organizing services when people should be working then we are setting up our, 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 our christians to fail you understand imagine setting up a service from 9 a.m to midday and it's on a monday my friend do you mean well for those uh, uh, Christians in your church? You understand? So there are things. There is time for everything. There is time for church and there is time to work. You understand? So let's do the right thing. Let's teach people correctly in our churches that uh, even the Bible says if a man doesn't work, they shouldn't eat. Also as a Christian, that come away, you are an intercessor. If you don't work, you won't eat. You understand? And at the same time, when you pray, you don't keep praying for the same thing all over again and again. Some of the reason our intercessors are always broke, it's because you prayed God gave you an answer. Instead of you doing something and obeying what God said, you still want to continue praying. My friend, it won't work that way. You understand? So um, let's work. Let's be creative. Um, and at the same time obey God. If you want to receive a blessing from God, we don't give to God for us to become millionaires. No, we give because we are already millionaires. You understand? So we don't go to church to be made something. To uh, No, we don't go to church to receive money or to receive things. No, we go there and we contribute to the advancement of the kingdom because we are already blessed. You understand? And it's God who give us strength to make wealth, to work hard. You understand? If you are not obeying your boss or you are not uh, uh, following the business ethics and your business fails, you can't blame anyone. It's lack of principles. It's lack of discipline. Sawa, sawa. So let's understand God and let's live in wisdom. Sawa, sawa. So let me know what you think about that clip in the comment section and see you in my next reaction video and if you have a video clip that you would want me to give a reaction also you can suggest to, to it to me uh, on my social media handles anointed voh on all social media handles sasa thank you so much don't forget to subscribe like and leave a comment bye